Yeah, here we are at uh, back at our home base, KTMB, and we're going to be flying the caravan today. And so we're in Microsoft Flight Simulator and also Air Hauler 2, which we're going to take care of here in just a minute. So let's get in the cockpit here. All right, and go ahead and bring up Air Hauler 2. So we are all set. Should have 144 USG. Okay. And we are going from KTMB to KDED, which. Go ahead and get this started here. Mission is started. Good connection. Excellent. So that's looking good. So let's get to. Our aircraft and first of all let's look at our fuel and that's right 144 gallons very good all right so let's get rid of the old man here that's talking to you <laughs> and we'll get this flight underway All right, so let's go ahead and check our controls here. System test OK. All right, let's see. Let's get the girl started. It's all looking good. Okay, the flight plan is already in. Let's get rid of this insert. Set up our CDI to... And we'll set up our PFD for show wind. There's a lot of wind today. 
So, number three. Okay, now. CDI. GPS, very good. Okay. Now, let's see here. Altitude select. Kind of go with five thousand feet today. It's a little hazy right here, but I think it's going to clear up as we uh, head north. And we also want to set our vertical speed uh, when we do turn on the air autopilot. Okay, so that's looking good. Alright, looks like we got everything set here. Okay, parking brake released. Looks like we're pretty well set up for taxi. Okay, air hauler two tells us we can go play. Let's not run into the 172 sitting there. And come to think of it, I haven't talked to ground yet, so we may want to get a hold of ATC ground to find out which runway they want us to take off from today. So let's get our ATIS. All right, let's go. Let's get down to the end of the runway.
All right, so I'm going to hold short and then we'll contact ATC, get our aircraft ready for takeoff. Tower Buggy 64 Alpha Alpha Delta X-Ray at runway 27 left ready for takeoff departing straight out. Flaps and takeoff can position. Alpha Alpha Delta X-Ray cleared for takeoff runway 27 left straight out departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 27 left Buggy 64 Alpha Alpha Delta X-Ray. Okay, so mixture to full, rich. Drops to full RPM. Looks like we are about ready to go. Okay. Let's get trim set for takeoff. Make sure the autopilot is turned off. All right, so it should be in good shape now. Autopilot is off. Because every time I try to take off in this airplane, it tries to kill me. Hopefully it won't do that today. Flaps are in takeoff position. No traffic coming in. So let's get on the runway and get going. to keep this airplane on the ground when she wants to fly she flies and she just did so <laughs> we are in the air and you can see how hard that wind is pushing against us on that crosswind takeoff We've got about 31 knots of wind right now, so. Alright, so, climbing nicely. Yaw dampener in this, you can't tell if it's on or not. Okay, autopilot on, and it just went, tried to throw me up. Okay. What's going on? Alright, autopilot off. Let's see what goes on here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's trying to kill me. Trying to kill me. Okay, let's move it off nav onto heading. Maybe that'll help. No, no, let's go ahead. Nope, it's gonna throw me straight up. So, watch for the stall. Banking, banking. Yep, yep. There it falls out. Okay. All right. Pay attention. Save it. Set this up. Okay, so Yep. Nope. All right, 
let's see what it does. Autopilot is on. All right, gain speed. Oh man, oh, this is a continuous fight here. We can get her to work, but it takes some, you know, as we would say, fiddling around, fiddling around. All right, let's go with the heading. Put on the autopilot. Okay, it's accepting that. It's turning on the heading. Try nav. Okay. Okay, we're on nav. Okay, it accepted it. So it's turning on to our flight plan heading. Alright, so things are working now. see we still got a good connection still showing that we're flying so hopefully we'll get credit for the flight at the end only time will tell we'll see how it goes I like flying. Yes. Okay. Tamiya Mi Tower Bug Eater 64 Alpha Alpha Delta X ray frequency change. So our co pilot will take care of the comms while I just fly this airplane. Miami Approach Bug Eater 64 Alpha Alpha Delta X ray is type Cessna Caravan 5 miles north of Tamiya Mi 1500 feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Bug Eater 64 Alpha Alpha Delta X-ray Miami approach. Clock 5, 152. Frontier flight 1515 heavy climb and maintain 10,000 feet. Squawk 5152 Bug Eater 64 Alpha Alpha Delta X-ray. Alpha Delta X-ray radar contact six miles north of Tamiami, 1,900 feet. Clear through the Bravo airspace. Maintain on navigation. All right. Maintain one zero thousand feet frontier flight one five one five. We'll be on our way here. As we we're going to go up to five thousand feet. Bravo airspace, Bugeter sixty four Alpha Alpha Delta X-ray. So we've got everything under control now. Okay, we're going to pull back on the uh, RPMs and the mixture a little bit. So we get ready to do our flight. We want to keep the airspeed the airspeed at about 152.
Alrighty, we had a nice flight over Lake Okeechobee. And so weird. Just probably about 13 miles from our destination. And we'll be getting ready to start the uh, approach. We're going to be landing on runway 30. So hopefully everything will go well. We've still got a strong... Uh, it's going to be a bit of a crosswind landing and say we're pushing you know, 28 to 31 knots of breeze so yeah it likes to uh, tossle this aircraft bound a bit so we'll see how everything goes keep your fingers crossed Those of you that have flown with me before may trust my landings, then again, maybe not. And in some cases, if you've flown with me before, I'm surprised to see you flying with me again. You must be daredevils. But, we will keep moving and forging ahead. That's our destination right there to our left. So we're going to be making a right turn so that we can come out and uh, get a little distance from the airport so we can turn around and come back in for the for runway 30. It's a good-sized municipal airport. It's got four runways, and planned on runway three zero. It's a, it's interesting because it's an uncontrolled airport. Uh, you know, no no tower or, or ground works, but. Uh, I originally planned on runway 30 based on wind direction and it looks like it may have changed. We're still going to come in on 30 but it looks like it may be a crosswind landing. So we'll see how it goes. Make sure your safety belts are fastened and tightened down which they should have been through this entire flight as much as we were getting bounced around in the breeze. And we are still losing, you know, altitude. Another aircraft landing ahead of us. And autopilot is off. The aircraft is mine.
start our turn to get on fairly lengthy approach. Give us time to make adjustments. Turned out to be a pretty day here in Central Florida. Okay, so... Yeah, runway three zeros right in front of us. Yeah, we got our first degree of flaps in. Try to control our altitude as much as possible using throttles. With the wind, I want to keep the speed up a little bit more than I normally would, but uh, you know, I don't want to hurt the aircraft. We've got full flaps in now. And you can see by the movement of the aircraft, we got got a pretty good breeze blowing against us here. And it is a crosswind. We're a little bit high, but that's all right. We've got a couple things going for us. We've got a decent length runway over 4,000 feet. And I've got reversers if needed. Alright, looking good. Starting to pick up the glide slope. There we go. So we're in good shape here. Whoops. Watch your nose. All right. Let her float down. A little bit of a bounce. That cross when this thing. Oh. We're not going to need the reversers, but by goodness. Trying to keep it on the runway with that crosswind. Not easy. 
But bringing the flaps up, clean the aircraft up, and we'll pull off at this taxiway and head to the parking area. Like I said, this is an uncontrolled airport, so there's nobody to talk to. Park it here, set the parking brake, and shut down the engine. All right, little lady's ready to go. All right, so let's unload our cargo. Job complete. We got credit. Outstanding. That's kind of a relief. <laughs> I was a little bit worried. All right. We'll double check our landing flight performance, which, yeah, not good, not good, not good. But at the same time, we still got credit for it. Uh, we got credit for an okay landing, so I really can't complain. All right, so let's close out of air hauler. And we can call it a day. Pretty day in Florida. Well, alrighty then. Mission complete. Uh, everything went well. All except for, you know, the autopilot in Microsoft Flight Simulator in the caravan especially, it seems like uh, every time I take it off, uh, somehow it decides it wants to kill me. Uh, I'm still playing with it, still trying to figure its little nuances out. But it does things to me that uh, are just absolutely horrible. Um, we were very lucky that after that little incident took place that I still got credit for the flight. Mainly because of the stall and so on. But... We were able to save it, we got it under control, and then we flew the mission and everything went extremely well. Um, I got an okay rating for the landing, eh, whatever. But uh, no damage to the aircraft, everything went well, so we got paid. What can I say? And that's always a plus. Now we'll just have to pick up another mission and to fly the bird back home. But uh, we'll get that done. I hope you enjoyed the flight. I hope you, uh, you enjoy flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, as I do, because uh, basically out-of-the-box 
um, scenery is very, very nice. I really, uh, for most airports, I don't have any real complaints. There's a few where, you know, the trees look more like clumps of dough than they do trees, but, and even some of the buildings. But uh, those are the very, very tiny private airports for the most part. So, anyway, flight complete, mission complete, everything's good. And so this is Bug Eater 64 and until next time, thanks for coming along, and please be safe and safe flying.